headphones yet. Sorry. Yeah, we got a little baby calf. Yes, we do. Hey, 23. Number 23 in the middle. Yes. Happy Thursday, number 23. Thing decided to come for a visit and it won't go home and it's too big for me to pick up and throw in the truck and take home you're a big boy and uh, one injured leg so you're only hopping around on three legs and dude that you can't roam this far away from home and not expect to be out of breath you got to have enough energy to get back too you didn't think about that no Well, yeah, yeah, this cow is checking you out, dude. Is that why you don't want to go back on the other side of the fence? What's up? How now, brown cow? Oh, sorry about my finger. This iPhone stuff is new to me. fart joke in here somewhere huh you got any cow fart jokes the joke's gonna be on us isn't it good morning from bobblehead homestead i am jeff today it's thursday it is mid 50s high 50s cloudy very windy now windy right now it was very very windy earlier and i want to show you something already this morning yes i'm wearing the same clothes as yes yes i'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday i'm going to town later i'll change then okay some of you are going to get tired of all my egg shots but oh uh, i was taking pictures of the three bottom eggs that came today um we've got number two I'm not sure, I think that was Carol Burnett, and this one, and I want to talk about that one. But while I was taking photos of those three, I got this one, and I want to talk about that one too. This olive egg may look dirty, but those are speckles. That's not dirt. I don't know how close I can get, but yes, that is my first olive egg with speckles. I'm not sure who laid it. Um, uh, it was in the front coop and so yeah now we've got this one that's a blue egg and those two are blue eggs but this one I don't know who laid it either it's got white speckles on it and Bob <laughs> Bob dude are you as bad as grumpy and knocking off eggs? I hope not. All right, where was I? All right, so this blue one standing up, I've got it propped up against the other two eggs. 
that blue one has like a concentration of blue around the tip and there are white specks on it and that is not normal I want to talk about that one and uh, the olive one okay so this blue one with white speckles and a concentration of blue at the end I'm uh, I'm no expert <laughs> well this is not normal and it's something to keep your eye on this just might be a fluke but if it uh, continues to happen it might be a sign of other health problems so you want to keep your eye on ab you know uh, eggs out of the out of the ordinary if it happens once doesn't happen again well there might be an anomaly uh, but anyway so I'm gonna I think I don't know who laid this one this might be uh, private Benjamin she just started laying again after the winter and going through molt so uh, it's common to get weirdo eggs uh, once in a while nothing to freak out about but uh, something just to watch if it becomes a pattern and then I got my first olive egg with speckles. I wish I had a Welsomer egg. One of them sitting in the coop. But uh, an olive egg with speckles. How does that happen? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm going to give a long, boring explanation. So what's up with all these different egg colors? You got white eggs, you got blue eggs, you got brown eggs, you got all kinds of different shades of brown eggs. You've got uh, blue eggs, you've got uh, all different shades of olive green mint uh, moss. Uh, colored eggs uh, and that you've got speckled eggs on you know uh, all across the spectrum so what's the deal what's the deal with that <laughs> I am no expert I'm gonna try to explain it as well as I know and uh, uh, genetics experts out there please chime in in comments if I uh, misspeak about anything but as far as I know uh, all eggs start out as either white or blue and there's one set of genetics that determines that uh, all eggs start out as white or as blue what about brown and green eggs well if you crack open a brown egg the inside of the shell is white if you crack open a uh, green egg the inside of the shell is blue so all eggs start out as white eggs or blue eggs and there are a pair of uh, genes that determine that so the hens that lay white eggs, they eat, they have you know two, two white egg genes. The hens that lay blue eggs, they have two blue egg genes. And then you can also have hens that have one white egg gene and one blue egg gene. Uh, the blue egg gene is dominant. Don't know why. Don't ask me. <laughs> the blue egg gene is dominant. So a hen that has both white and blue will lay blue eggs. However, she, to her offspring, she could pass along either that blue or white egg gene. So her offspring are, would be up in the air as to what color egg they would lay. So that's how, uh, that's what determines the white or the blue. The, what determines the brown or green is a different set of genetics and um there's all kinds of different shades of brown like this is uh this is number two it's like a very very light brown i'd call it a peach color and she has the two white egg genes and then also in the other uh number of genetics she has a little bit of brown in there and so what that is is you crack this open it's white on the inside and there's it's like an inkjet printer or something just putting a very light shade of brown on there now some breeds of chickens lay very dark brown eggs I think Moran's uh, Moran are probably the darkest egg layers or among the darkest Welsomers, the ones that I have, they lay, uh, they can lay a dark egg, and there's variations within the breeds also. And some Welsomers lay the darker brown eggs with speckles, and that's in the genetics somewhere also. Uh, so that's where uh, brown eggs come from: is a different part of the genetics that lay a brown coating on either a, oh, if it, if you're. If it's putting a brown coating on a white egg, you're going to get a brown, uh, brown egg. But if you're putting a brown coating on a blue egg, that's where the green and the olive and the mint and, and all that comes from. Make sense so far?
in the case of my Alavegers, I created those using Welsomers, a Welsomer rooster as a matter of fact, and that Welsomer rooster has two white egg genes, and then it also has genetics for brown, and I got lucky. Uh, apparently he, he had some genetics for speckles in there also. So that's where this egg, this speckled olive egg, um, the brown coating and the speckles were inherited from the father and the blue egg base was inherited from the mother, uh, my whiting true blue hens. So you can also use uh, East, some Easter eggers, uh, Americanas, Ericanas, uh, leg bars. <laughs> There are a couple, three, there are several varieties of leg bars that also lay blue eggs. But uh, now, uh, the father passes along one of the white egg genes, and the mother passes along one of the blue egg genes. So this first generation of olive eggers, uh, they will carry one white egg gene and one blue egg gene. The olive egger would either pass on the blue or the white. We don't know which one. And this is getting complicated right now. Uh, okay, now, so the olive egger has one white egg gene and one blue egg gene. And so the offspring, it can take six, seven generations to uh, um, refine the breed to be true olive eggers, where they're always passing along two blue egg genes and the brown, uh, brown egg uh, layer on the blue eggs. So, uh, <laughs> now I'm confusing myself. Okay, enough, enough talk about egg colors. Are we going to try this again today? Hi. Hi. Yeah. 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 Hi, Grumpy. Meow. Meow. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. Uh, stray cat didn't show up yesterday, showed up last night, like at midnight. And now, now it's back and it's uh, noonish. But Grumpy's hanging out right there and Bob's on the way, so I don't know if I'll get any footage. Come here, kitty. Come here. I'm not going to feed you right now. You missed out. That's one thing, you've got to learn the feeding times. I'm not just going to, I'm not just going to give you food on demand over there. Yeah, especially if you won't let me pay you. Oh. Number two's out free ranging again. She laid her egg in the coop though, so I got no complaints. Yeah, you keep laying those eggs, and we're gonna we're gonna go places. Number two, you and me. Yep, all all I'll be very happy to ride on your uh, tail feathers. We got a few daffodils blooming over here. One lonely dude, and then uh, three batches in there are starting to starting to come up too. Good deal. This other one though. Oh yeah, and I was looking through to see when they bloomed last year, and one year ago today they were uh, very similar, so very cool. Now I've, uh, I know the dates at least on these patches of, of daffodils. I wonder why these were blooming earlier than the others. No clue. And I've got a fresh new olive egg there on the end. Next to, you can see there are different shades of green, and one on the left has some speckles, the one on the right doesn't, but it is bigger. She's been laying longer. So, yep. Yeah, see, we, yeah, we're all excited here. We're crowing up a storm, excited about the eggs. Except there are no Welsomer eggs in there. Come on, ladies. All right, that's going to be it for this Thursday. I got to run into Boonville for something. So I'll be taking the afternoon off. And, you know, I was thinking the other day, my post office is on the way to Russellville. Boonville is in the opposite direction. 
But there's a post office in Magazine. I wonder if they have, they probably have P.O. boxes. But since I go to Boonville a lot more often than Russellville, it would make sense if I had a P.O. box in Magazine. <laughs> so I could check that on the way more often than, uh, than when I'm going to Russellville. Hindsight dudes, I had no idea. All right, uh, take her easy. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody's having a great week. Snow and, uh, and all. There are benefits to snow. I've got flies and bugs everywhere already. So, yeah. Bob. Bob. <laughs>